Now, that case and the death this week of actor Natasha Richardson from a skiing fall have inspired a new debate about the use and safety of helmets. While Cole was wearing a helmet, Richardson was not. And while there's no way of knowing if a helmet might have saved her, experts say helmets can cut the risk of brain injury dramatically. Tonight, a B.C. politician is demanding that all helmets meet specific federal standards and that all provinces move quickly to mandate the wearing of helmets for skiing and snowboarding. It isn't mandatory in Canada for skiers and snowboarders to wear helmets. While many adults still choose not to wear them, you'd be hard-pressed to find a kid on a ski hill these days without one. She didn't want to wear it actually today, but uh, she said it looks goofy. But you wore it, didn't you? Yeah, I was scared not to. Yeah. Were you really scared not to? Yeah, I was scared I was going to fall and... I didn't, but just be safe. For sure, because yeah. basically he's not a bad skier, but because of his height, you see other skiers coming by, and you don't have an ability to know, you know, what's going to happen or get crashed into. But whether or not skiers and snowboarders should be required to wear helmets, what many don't realize is that Alpine snow sport helmets in Canada don't have to pass standards to be sold in stores. Really? Something that they should look into, do you think? Yeah, yeah I think so, because there's a lot of accidents. So. BCMP Dr. Hetty Fry wants the federal government to add snow sport helmets to the list of sports headgear that needs government approval before being sold. You can't mandate somebody to go out there and buy what's out on the floor if that isn't in itself safe, because people think they're being safe, but they're not. BC and Quebec are both looking to make helmet use Much mandatory better. on its ski hills. But Fry argues that unless those helmets meet set Canadian standards, consumers will still be vulnerable to shoddy products. Standards for snow sport helmets have already been set in Europe and the U.S. But Canada has only set safety guidelines for hockey and lacrosse helmets. Even bicycle helmets don't have to meet government standards. If people are going to be told they must wear helmets, they need to know that the helmets that they're wearing are going to be protective. Otherwise, you know, you might as well a, a, a toque or a nice, uh, a nice hat. But even without Canadian standards, if the choice is to wear a helmet or not, safety advocates insist wearing any helmet is better than not wearing one at all. This snowboarder just started wearing his a few weeks ago. Really? What made you change? Uh, banged my head down on the ice back maybe three weeks ago. And I say, it's time. 